Hello, this is Running Robert, and today we're going to be talking about the Palatin Technologies PTN summary for the 24th of July, 2023, in which we're going to be looking at the bullish and the bearish parts of this small cap company. So I followed this company for a while. Um, again, we can continue to follow until data is going through. But hey, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and thank you. The disclaimer is I have taken a position with both stocks and options within the last video that I made, which is the 24th of April, 2023. I'm an amateur investor and any advice given should be followed up by own due diligence and any information given is valid for today, the 24th of July, and the slideshow will not be updated as we get new news, new slideshow. So what prompted this video? So the company announced that Valisi sales were up again for the sixth straight quarter, earning a net revenue of $1.7 million. This is up from $1.2 million, so a $500,000 increase. Uh, for those who are joining us in small cap world, that is a pretty big difference for a company that is not spending a lot of money to do this. Uh, the company's stock then raised up to about $2.40 before promptly crashing back down to 2 So overall, the news for the revenue is definitely positive, but it seems as all the pipeline developments slipped again, they all moved back to either a half a year or a quarter, which is going to push up against the available cash which means they're most likely either diluting the share price, they are diluting the share price, probably to get to the first half of 2024. We're going to look at that in the next slide. We're looking at cash. So at the end of the first quarter, the company has a, had a little under $20 million in cash. Uh, the company had a little over $7 million, $7 million in net loss, which means for the third quarter, 2023, the one we're in right now, they are probably under $14 million of cash and will be around seven unless we see some deal or some major sales change by the fourth quarter of 2023 the data has also been pushed back on all three drugs so now you kind of see the issues so cash will run out by the end of the year unless the company has been diluting the stock which could explain the drops that we've had I, at this point looking at it originally they were looking at the third quarter and i was like they probably won't need to raise cash until after that now they are probably raising cash currently which is again a warning to anyone investing. Looking at the milestones, uh, obviously PL9643, Melody1 data. We've talked about dry eye disease. It is something that there definitely is a market for. There's no lead drug for it. A lot of the drugs have high discontinuation rates and they swap between the two. So it, it has a chance to be a very uh, good leader in that pack. However, we're probably not going to be following the NDA till 2025. So it's going to be a bit. Getting positive data will help. And of course, PL8177 for UC. Uh, that interim data got pushed back to the second half of 2023. So we're just waiting for that. Again, this is something, another another drug that there are uh, drugs out for UC, but they're not as effective as they need to be. So again, this will have a spot. And then of course, they're using uh, Valisi for diabetic neuropathy. That's a kidney disease. Uh, the top line data, first half of 2024. And then very interesting to pop out here is the objective to license US rights for Valisi. They, at the last quarterly meeting, said that we're not going to do it because we're making enough money. We don't see the reason. This has popped up. Not sure what's happening, but something definitely to look for. Definitely would help the cash situation. And of course, South uh, Korea and China advancing regulatory things, but that's still a 2024, 2025 problem. Or, you know, solution, whichever one you want to think about it. So Valisi, so net revenue is up to 1.7 from 1.2 for the quarter two, 2023. I did expect, and this is my last video, the net revenue boot by to be 2 million by the end of the year. However, now I really expect that to be an increase to about 2.5 to 3 million by the end of the year, 2023. This is important because 3.5 is the current admin cost per quarter for the company. So anything higher than that is going to start to cut into research and development. That is big as I believe the company will probably pause one or two uh, of its pipeline candidates if they're not looking great or, or uh, you know try to partner for that. Uh, there is an increase of about 600 total uh, scripts uh, quarter two, and that's 40... 4,371 compared to 3,780. And they also started again, phase two for Valisi for a di diabetic kidney disease. Top line data is the first half of 2024. I mentioned this separately because obviously most companies don't 
look at extra indications for their drugs on the market unless they see some kind of signal. So obviously they saw some kind of signal enough that they're progressing with this. Okay, so the summary. So there's really nothing to say new about the drugs. If you follow me to the end of the video, I will post my last summary where I go over all the drugs and what, how they're doing, what, what's going on. I didn't feel like I needed to, again, put more information in that. But of course, positive data, positive data of any of the trials will increase the share price, but it will be followed by an offering. And it looks like the future of the company seems like it will be decided in the second half of 2023. This, again, keeps getting pushed back, so I'm going to put a maybe on that one. Uh, but the company needs money to get to the end of the year, so tread carefully. But any good news could send the stock higher. But again, be safe with their decisions. That's why I'm making these videos is that you kind of get all the information that, hey, data's coming. When, we're not sure. But if it hits, it's going to be good. If it doesn't hit, well, then you're going to lose your investment. Let's go with that. But again, we're looking at the positive. Uh, I think Melody and UC and even the diabetic kidney... I think all could be positive based on previous results. Like I said, that's where we stand. And again, as new news comes out, we will cover it. So thank you very much for uh, watching and listening. And I hope you have a wonderful day.